Hey ladies and gentlemen, get ready to gird those gaming loins and cup those nerd nuts and go on a Game Boy building journey with me, Stinky McFutt for a face. Okay, who put that in the cue cards? Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! What's up, rascals? I hope you're excited because I'm excited to put this together because I'm a huge nerd. It's the Build Your Own Game Boy kit from Did You Say Retro. Now, it comes with pretty much everything you need to put it together, including Wormlight, for authentic early 2000s gaming. This Game Boy kit is 100% original, including the non-backlit uh, um, screen. The non-backlit screen that Game Boy Advances typically came with. So, set that aside. They give you a nice, delicious, clear case with all the buttons and stuff. And of course, you've got the heart of the system itself, the Game Boy Advance PCB, which goes like that because batteries. All right. Anyway, everything technical is already done for you. The PCB's been checked and cleaned and tested. The Game Boy shell is got... It has all its stuff with it, including they provide you with a tri-tip screwdriver in case you don't have one, as well as the standard Phillips, because it's a mishmash of tri-wing and Phillips head screws in there. And it's literally just plug and play. I forgot, this table's not real. Okay, so maybe I don't have the most uh, spacious work area, but uh, I work with what I've got, so deal with it. <laughs> Even though all the hard stuff is done for you, it's still pretty cool to be able to say, I built this! So that's, the, that's one of the main things that appealed to me on this. Um, you can always modify things as you see fit, and there's always the uh, retro pie uh, projects that are abundant as well, if you want, if this isn't enough for you. It's been a while since I've had my own first gen Game Boy Advance, so this is gonna be fun. Being able to build my own, that's that's almost a dream come true, considering when they first came out, I was not too thrilled with the limited uh, color options for the shells, and to be perfectly honest, this one's not doing it for me either. That's why I went scrounging on the internet, and I finally found one that I like. And, and you would not believe how few people offer this color. Look at you. Looky, looky. Ha ha ha. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like the transparent cases. However, if I had to choose... You know I'm going with my red. And standard gray? <laughs> Pish posh. Get rid of that. I ain't doing that. I'm going to go with some black accents because hell yeah. And it's always good to have spares of these. So I'm glad that the shell came with one. I'm not going to use this though. Because I have... A particular one that I've been dying to put on one of my Game Boys, and now seems like the appropriate time to go for it. This guy. And besides the fact that it says Super Famicom on it, this one is glass. So, it's made of sterner stuff. So, now that we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and... Three, two, one, go! All right, so this isn't exactly a race, but it's not something that's going to take forever and a day to do either. I mean, this whole process literally took me maybe, what, uh, 45 minutes because I was getting distracted? So if you're only focusing on on just doing this and nothing else and have, a, let's be honest, a cleaner work surface and more area to work with, there's no reason you couldn't get this done in in 20 minutes, maybe less. So obviously the first thing you gotta do is put in that screen, make sure that sticky tape is adhering nice and snug, I guess, because, sure, I've, 
that always weirded me out, but at the same time, it makes sense. You gotta make sure that it doesn't jostle around, and because LCD screens are kind of a picky bitch sometimes. Oh, look at that. How eager am I? So eager to get this thing put together. Yeah, there's only one problem. I am forgetting something. So put that down. And uh, let's go ahead and put the buttons in because those need to go in before putting the PCB on. Boom. 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 And the shoulder pads. Get that in there. Get you in there. Oh, don't fight. Don't you fight me, you bitch. There you go. All right, so anyway, now, now that, oh yeah, the rubbers, that sounds wrong, but the, yeah, the rubber contact pads that uh, actually do the button pushing, gotta put that in there. Now, now it's time for the board. Now, sliding the ribbon cable nice and even into its slotty hole, and then pinch it down with the little black tabs, obviously. And then it's just a matter of making sure everything fits into its little groove. I don't know why I was struggling with this. Oh, shit. Yeah, um, those kind of pop out if you're not careful, so be careful. So I almost forgot one tiny little thing. I got so into it. I got so carried away. I almost forgot the light tube. Light tube! <laughs> Such a tiny BS piece. So now I gotta take it apart again just to put it back together. Why? Also, I dropped something. Alright, yeah. Taking it apart is easy. I mean... All you gotta do is reverse what you did to put it together, and... But either way, the fact that you have to do that at all, or I had to do that at all... Eh, mild inconvenience. Let's be honest. And all for that! That little thing is the bane of my existence. I swear to God, somewhere in my carpet is a light tube from my roommate's Game Boy when I initially went to take it apart to clean it a bit, and unfortunately it fell off my desk, and I never found it again. So, I owe him that, but anyway, I digress. We're putting this Game Boy together, it's almost done. See? I'm putting the back plate on. Which, yes, you do have to take the battery cover off to do, because there is a screw in the center of the battery con- or well, lower center. It, it, the, all, this, all the screws are around the perimeter of it, more or less. But, I, I'm just rambling to fill up dead air. Yeah, if you're wondering what I'm doing, constantly squeezing it, I am... I'm making sure that everything lines up right, and actually will close without pinching things. You'd be surprised how often you have to make sure you do that. No matter how gung-ho you think you're going to go, you got to make sure that you're not going to pinch a wire. Because, my God, if that happens, eh, you're not going to have a good Tuesday. Anyway, everyone knows how to screw a screw. But just in case, uh, I'll mention that when I go to s screw these in, I'll turn the screw counterclockwise first. That way I make absolutely certain that I'm centering the screw in there so I don't, like, start digging in sideways or something. I don't know. It It's just a handy little tip that I learned one day, and I've been doing it ever since, so... Yay! Anyway, let's speed this part up.
And it is complete. Oh, look at that. It's a thing of beauty if you ask me. But does it work? Oh, you bet your sweet bippy it does. Check this out. Now, I'm super happy with the results. Obviously, I like the way it looks, I picked the parts myself. But the fact that I was able to build a legit Game Boy Advance from original parts, more or less, is pretty fun, personally. I, I liked it, I liked the experience. It didn't take too long at all because all the parts were already figured out and checked and, and they were good. I noticed a tiny little bit of, of old age grunge in the extension port but that can be fixed with either a thorough cleaning or replacing parts, and that involves soldering. On that note, because I am prone to tinkering, if I ever need to refresh anything in here, I can always just replace parts and such and do it myself. Some parts I've never done before. I've never done micro-soldering. That would be a neat challenge. But now I have a nice, pretty stock Game Boy Advance to complement my free play zero. Mmm, you two are sexy bitches! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together for you guys and putting together my Game Boy. And let me know if you liked this kind of a video, if you want to see more, because I definitely can provide. Um, I've been promising to do modifications on my uh, roommate's Game Boy Advance, and this poor baby needs a cleaning anyway. And like I said, I do owe him a light tube since I lost it the first time I took this apart. Also, if you liked this video, go check out Did Somebody Say Retro? Because he's the guy that made the kit that I put together to make this possible. And if you're watching Mr. Retro, I'm not sure what your first name is because I haven't found it yet. I'm very glad that your kit sold well enough that you put out a second batch. I'll be leaving links in the description below, not only to Did Somebody Say Retro's channel, but I'll also be leaving a link in the description for the site where you can purchase one of these kits yourself, assuming the second wave hasn't sold out by the time this video hits. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Retro, again, I don't know your first name, and I'm sorry. But if you so happen to have a couple of extra boards, I have a couple extra shells. Maybe I could buy a couple off of you? Anyway, rascals, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.